Hi there, it's Nina Nandagopal at almostpractical.com and today I just received my November 2020 Sew Sampler monthly subscription quilting box that I want to share with you. Mine came a little bit late this time because apparently the Fat Quarter Shop had a problem with one of the suppliers and they didn't have enough of a particular item to fill all the boxes on time. So I did get mine, so better late than never. And I've already opened it so I can kind of go over it with you a little bit more quickly. So with every sew sampler box, there is a card on the top and on the flip side is a code. And this month's code is for 15% off of jelly rolls. So that is the first thing to go over with you. Then, there's this really cute rotary cutting mini mat with a cushioning sort of ironing side. So it's called a mini cut and press. And you can use this side for ironing and this side for cutting. So it's great to go to take on the go and it feels very sturdy. The mat itself, it, it's not bendable. It seems like a good flat cutting surface and it has some nice markings on it for your quilting. Another thing that came in the box is this Dritz bobbin boat and it's a flexible holder for your bobbins. It's nice because it doesn't slip or slide, but it is going to fit your smaller bobbins. It does not fit the bigger Bernina jumbo bobbins because I tried it. So just to let you know that. Another item in this box is are these duck build scissors and they are really really cute and seem to be really useful. They're very solid feeling, very heavy and they are purple and they've got that sort of angle to them. Can you see that? So if you're cutting your threads you can get them really nice and close for applique or other things that you use and it seems very sharp so be very careful but they're cute. The highlight of the box, of course, is the fabric. And this is the folktale fabric. It's a mini je jelly roll from Lella Boutique from Moda Fabrics. And there's just some really pretty patterns in here. It, it does remind me, it's sort of folky, kind of country looking fabrics. And I can sort of flip through them with you. These jelly rolls are just, they make a lot of fabric dust. <laughs> um, so there, these are more of the pinks, the browns, yellows, and then the, if you get the finishing kit for this month's quilt, it's the blues of the, it has a blue background. So these are the, the fabrics and I'm just flipping them quickly with you, but you can see that they are really country patterns and a lot of fun. They remind me a little bit of the Wild West or the Southwest. And here's some pretty little florals and, and some polka dots, which are my favorite, and then some stripes. So that is pretty much what is going to be in this whole jelly roll, which I will roll right back up. The pattern for this month whew, is a feelin' pine quilt pattern, which really is has a fall look to it. It has these sort of shapes that look like pine cones, which is probably why it's called Feelin' Pine. And they give you patterns inside for two sizes for either the, the lap quilt or the twin quilt. But if you want to do the, lap, the twin quilt, you'll need to get a second junior jelly roll and a second finishing kit. So the inside this box, you just have the one je junior jelly roll for the lap size quilt and the finishing kit, I'm assuming I did order it, but I haven't received it yet, has the background fabric and the fabric for the binding, which means of course you would still need to buy the backing fabric. And it tells you like for the lap quilt, you need three and five eighths yards for the backing. And for the twin quilt, you would need five and a quarter yards for the backing. So, I mean, it's very pretty and I, sort of have committed like when I when I subscribed to this box I said I am going to make these things <laughs> and not just have them sit around and not get done. And so I did order the the backing and the finishing kit which is not here yet 
and I hope to do this after the holidays. It did since it did come a little bit late. I have a few projects going on now and I know my December box is going to be hot on the heels of this one. So I am going to wait for that to come and then figure out the order of my of my projects. So please subscribe to my YouTube channel. Give it a thumbs up if you like this video. Come visit me on my website almostpractical.com. I talk about organizing, productivity, and some DIY and some recipes and th anything to make life a little bit easier. Uh, thank you so much for joining me today and I hope you enjoyed this peek inside the November 2020 Sew Sampler quilting box. My name is Nina Nanda Gopal.